Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hi, so this week it's going to be a little bit more about a pondering, that an exploring of an idea and my sharing my journey to where I am with this idea so far. So one of the things that I've kind of thought about over my life is like, what is the purpose? Like, why are we here on earth? And my, what I've come to, the conclusion I've come to in regards to this has changed somewhat <laughs> over the years. Um, I think when I first started thinking about it, I was very much a Christian. And I think that my, I didn't sort of come to a, a conclusion per se, but my driving force was to please God to do what I thought I needed to do to be this perfect human being. Um, that all sort of fell by the wayside <laughs> sometime in my teenage years. And I think in my sort of mid twenties, mid to late twenties, I started reading a lot of books. I read things like, I think the first book that started me off on this sort of journey of exploration was Many Lives, Many Masters. And I think shortly thereafter, one of the books that I read was Conversations with God. And I'll put links to those both down in the show notes, show notes below if you are interested and want to find out more about them. And they opened up more questions than they answered, although they did give me a lot of answers, a lot of answers to things that I suppose had kind of wobbled my world in my teenage years, that I kind of had, had left me a little bit sort of directionless. Um, and I think around about that time, when I started sort of reading every book I could get my hands on um, in regards to sort of spirituality and a little bit about quantum physics, not a lot about quantum physics, but how the world works, how we work, what it's like to be human, all of those things. I think then my thinking sort of changed to that life on Earth is about learning. It's a school. It's for us to learn and grow and develop as a soul. Um, and that was the conclusion I came to then. And now, um, sort of even further along on my journey, I think that's evolved somewhat. And it's not that I've departed from, I suppose, the belief that we're here on Earth to grow as a soul. But it's less like when I first started thinking about this and I thought that this was what we were here for, I thought that we were set certain trials. And if we didn't get those trials right, then we sort of failed a bit as a soul and we didn't grow as much as we possibly could have done. And almost there was a judging, there was um, there was some old sort of other being or other beings that were there to sort of say whether we'd done well and we'd learnt what we needed to learn or we hadn't. So I hadn't kind of stepped away from that all-powerful sort of judging God, I suppose. <laughs> I'd kind of stepped away a little bit, but I hadn't kind of stretched it completely. Um, whereas now what I think I believe is that it's all about experience. It's, it's about experiencing many different things, about experiencing pain and loss and joy and love and, um, and, and just all sorts of things like experiencing the physicality of our bodies and what they're capable of, experiencing our minds and what we can actually get done with them, experiencing what it's like to work really hard or what it's like to be lazy, what it's like to be ill and what it's like to be healthy. You know, experiencing so many myriad of things, experiencing different cultures and learning to sort of see the life through the eyes of somebody else. Experiencing relationships, I think the grounds, the sort of the relationships is such a fertile soil for experiencing because there's so much involved in it and um, we can experience hurt and anger and pain and loss and love and acceptance and forgiveness and joy and so many things when in relationship so and I mean I, I can't even begin to touch on all the things that are in experience here on the earth I mean one of the things that I love the, the one of the experiences that I still to this day absolutely adore is the feeling of warm sunshine on my skin and it's things like that that we experience but we maybe don't sing into and really appreciate the experience as much as we maybe could and I think that's where I am at the moment I'm at the point in my life now where what I'm really hoping to do is to experience things, but not just to go around experiencing things, but to really appreciate the experience, to allow myself to sort of fully absorb the experience and 
focus on the experience. I can't kind of put it into words, but this kind of like doing doing things in life and enjoying things and not enjoying things and just going through it. And then there's doing it consciously where you're aware that what you're doing is immersing yourself in an experience. And that's really what I think I'm trying to say is that I'm at the point in my life now and it might change. I'm still on a journey. <laughs> my idea of what life is about might change somewhere along the line. But at the moment, it's about experiencing things and consciously experiencing them and enjoying or reveling, I think, in the experience of things. I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you, as I said, there's all sorts of stuff down in the show notes below. Um, also, if you want to contact me or if you want to sign up to one of my online courses, again, that's in the show notes below as well. Have a wonderful week and hopefully I'll see you again next week. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.